Hey guys, what's up? It's Chuck from MotionApprentice.com again, working from my couch today on my laptop. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial for you this week. This is just going to be a quick tip for the Moho users, and that's to um, show you how to do this kind of sketchbook effect that I'm, uh, I'm using on a project that's currently in production right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you the effect that I'm talking about. And if I pull up my uh, render here, um, you can see how this character has kind of a, a sketchbook type effect. He's kind of got these squiggly lines around him, and um, uh, they're all kind of moving around, almost like a, like a frame by frame animation. But this is all rigged animation, and uh, the the style here is. Uh, it kind of looks like ink drawings, but you can also make it look like uh, more like pencil, pencil sketches uh, if you want. Okay, so we're going to hop into Moho here, and uh, I pulled in the character rig from the um, project I just showed you just to, to illustrate something real quick. Uh, and that's that in the viewport here, you don't really see the, the sketchbook effect that I'm talking about uh, in full effect. Uh, you'll see that if you have it paused, his outlines are a little warped, uh, but if you hit the play button, that completely goes away. And even when you have it paused, that's not really representative of what the final effect looks like. So uh, if you hit Control r that'll render a still frame, and you'll see what the effect really looks like when it's rendered. So you'll probably be hitting Control r quite a bit while you do this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hide uh, the character layer. And just to make this easier, I'm just going to create a new uh, vector artwork layer. And I just, all I did was draw a circle on this layer one here. And uh, this will make it easy to, to show you how this works. And um, I have a green fill and a black stroke, and that's all you really need is a fill and a stroke. And if you go to the layers panel and you click on the layer settings button here, which is the little ellipsis, you get this dialog box that pops up. And if you go to the Vectors tab, you have all these options here. And this is where you create the sketchbook effect. So basically all it does is it adds an animated noise, noise pattern to the outline and the fill of your object. So uh, noisy outlines, that adds kind of a static warped effect that's not animated uh, to your drawing. And you can see that uh, here when I, when I hit Control-R. And I'm also actually... While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and make the, uh, whoops, I'm going to select my shape there and make the stroke a little bit thicker so that you can really see, see this better. So you see you get that warped effect there. Um, you can also, right now, underneath that warped effect, the fill is still a perfect circle. So you can click the noisy fills option there, and that will make the fill warp as well. Okay. Got to hit apply there. So um, in order to have this animated, all you have to do is click this animated noise button. And this defaults to having, uh, the first thing that I, ch I change is the default is one interval, which basically one frame interval, which basically what that means is every frame, the noise pattern is going to change a little bit. And if you see in the example here, that noise pattern is going very quickly. It's, it, it, it's, um, doesn't look so much like a sketchbook. It looks more like it's just kind of jittering in frame. So for my example in that uh, previous production, I changed this to three. And that gives a, a much a different effect where the interval uh, changes every three frames instead of every one. And this also plays off the frame rate of your animation. So keep that in mind. You also have these options for offset pixels and scale pixels. And what that does is that just changes the intensity with which uh, the distortion um, affects the layer. And you can use your scroll wheel to change the number on these. So if I go on the offset and just scroll up, you can see how the intensity gets a lot, uh, it gets a lot more intense there. And the scale pixels, basically what that does is that affects how broad or how fine the noise pattern on the layer is. So if I scroll way down here, you can see how that noise pattern starts to get a, a, a lot finer. Um, and if I hit apply and control R, you can see how that kind of affects the layer. So those are two settings to kind of play with. So I'm going to go back up. I believe this was around 48 or so. And this, I don't, I don't know, let's try five for now. 
and um, that gives you the basic effect there. But in addition to those, and what really helps you get the sketchbook effect is this line count option. And if you scroll up, basically what that does, you can see in the preview window here, is that adds extra strokes on top of the stroke that's already there and offsets them with a different random seed. So you have a slightly different offset on each one of those strokes. Now usually you get the best effect on this if I'm going to select that layer and I'm going to go back down to one on the stroke width and hit control R and you can see how those thin strokes are kind of overlaying each other and offsetting differently. And I'm going to go back to offset pixels and I'm going to turn that up a little bit and render again and you can get a little bit bigger of, of an effect there. Okay. And uh, let's try putting the scale pixels to 60 and the offset to 10, apply, and we'll see what that gives us. So that gives us a, a more intense effect there, okay? So um, that's, how, uh, that's how the general effect works. Now, like I said, in my version, I thought it looked uh, more like kind of a, an ink drawing uh, in a, a flip book that's been inked over perhaps. But um, you can do, uh, you can achieve different results with with a few more options here. So, if I select the shape and I go to the stroke, one thing you can do is you can add a brush to the stroke. So you have a, a lot of different options here, and you can add a ton more options for for brushes. But I'm just going to pick this one here, and this should give it a little bit more of a pencil effect. So I'm going to add that brush. And then on the width, I'm going to take it up, I don't know, let's try four. I'm just guessing here. Then I'm also going to go into the stroke uh, color, and I'm going to bring the alpha down a little bit. So you have a little bit more transparent of a stroke that's thicker and has a texture on it that was applied with the brush. So if you render that, you see how this looks more like a pencil sketch as opposed to an ink sketch. And I'm actually going to bring the alpha down even a little bit more and see what that looks like. So, so that's pretty cool. And then you can also, let's take the fill off and we'll just see how it looks without the fill. So you can see how that really starts to look like more of a pencil sketch and animated over time, the way that, that my sample video was, um, that, will, uh, that will create a pretty cool effect that looks like it's hand drawn, yet you're still using uh, a rigged animation. So you get all the benefits there. And you can even adjust the frame rate on this rigged animation and uh, make it 12 frames per second or something like that. So you get a really authentic sketchbook effect if you want. So that's the basics of how you achieve this kind of what I'm calling the sketchbook effect. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, this quick tip. Uh, I think next week I'm probably going to hop back into After Effects and, and do something there. But this week I just wanted to do a, a quick uh, tutorial for you and show you how you could get uh, a different effect that isn't easily achievable in a lot of software, really, um, without doing a little bit of work. So uh, that's the sketchbook effect in Moho. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.